This small creature plays a vital role in protecting a city of more than four million people. The crayfish live in water that is about to go into St. Petersburg's distribution system. They're wired up so that scientists can see variations in heart rate, stress, perhaps caused by pollution in the water. Although in reading this data, we have to allow for personality because no two crayfish are alike. Before the crayfish go into service, we work out their individual stress indexes, because just like you and I, they're obviously different from each other, and each one produces his own numbers. Now, all of the crayfish which work here are males. That's apparently because they have a calmer temperament. Now, after they've worked here for five years, they're released and put into a nearby lake. In another laboratory, creative scientists are putting snails to work. The snails breathe air from the incinerator which burns St. Petersburg's sewage, even as they feast on cucumbers. Again, scientists are measuring heart rate for signs of stress, indicating problems with the air. The snails are African, Russian ones not suitable, because they sleep in winter. St. Petersburg was built by Peter the Great 300 years ago to rival the finest cities of Europe. In that, he succeeded. But he could never have imagined his city would rely on such unlikely creatures to keep its people healthy and safe. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, St. Petersburg.